Ready for round two? The journey, here we go. The more I keep thinking about it, I have no idea. I just started. I'm living in my car in a parking lot where there's a Starbucks and I just started. It wasn't that hard putting yourself out there with magazines and companies and things that are going on if you're doing it for free. So that was real easy. Uh, and that's all I wanted. All I wanted to do was shoot. And as time went on, it kept getting better and better. I was doing event photography. And it kept getting better and better and better and better up to the point that um, when I got my camera. Bumblebee is a Canon 7D Mark II. It's a crop sensor camera. But the one thing that Bumblebee does that fit me was the fact that it shot at 10 frames per second. No matter how you look at Las Vegas, there's one constant thing that happens here that enables me to get a camera like that. Number one, a lot of things happen at night. Number two, people are moving, okay? And number three, first and foremost, I needed a camera that could shoot in low light. There are a lot of turning points. Everybody goes through, when you go through a situation where you're trying to do something or trying to accomplish something and you start out and you go through the journey, there is a turning point. There were two turning points. Uh, the first one was shooting my first uh, magazine cover. Uh, that kind of put me out there. And uh, I already had two magazine covers under my belt. So in my first year, I shot seven. Turning point number two, one of the magazines that I worked for ended up being a blessing more so than anything else because I got the opportunity to see all of the entertainment that Vegas has to offer. The name of the magazine was called Wear Magazine and it's a tourist magazine here in Las Vegas. The subscription is like off the charts. And my biggest claim of fame with Wear was the night that I went to the Westgate and shot the group Cameo. Funk group? Remember Cameo? Word up? When I captured that event and the show and they put those pictures up on their Facebook fan page, it got 3,000 likes in 24 hours. And that was a great show too. April 16th, 2016. It's a Saturday afternoon, I'm driving to get a meal, to get something to eat, because I had to shoot a wedding later on that evening. And I get to the intersection of St. Rose Parkway and Eastern, and the car, my Chrysler minivan, smoke was coming on the inside of the car and it wasn't the typical, uh, your radiator is overheating. This was black smoke. The car was on fire. I crossed the intersection with the car on fire, pulled into the parking lot. I'm engulfing all these fumes and this smoke and I almost passed out. I couldn't get out of the car. And I, my body, my brain says get out of the car, my body wouldn't move. And finally, I just did this. I got out the car, it's on fire. The front hood, everything is on fire. It's a massive fire. Uh, Henderson Fire Department comes out, and I'm standing there, and I'm like, oh my God, my camera, Bumblebee, is in there. My, my computer is in there. So I run to the car. They try to stop me. I was not having it. Two people grabbed me and said, you can't go there, and I just shrugged them off and said, I'm going to get my camera and my computer. And they just kind of stood there like I was, this guy's not fooling around. So I went in there and got it. Uh, flames all over the place. I just stuck my hand in there and grabbed the mode. And then I stood there and I looked at it and I just went, it's over, it's done. That lasted for about five minutes. It lasted for about five minutes. And I just said to myself, I'm not quitting. And I didn't.